Trevinos and welcome back to another Cast Monday. This is where we do a challenge based primarily, well, completely in the cast section. You guys suggest challenges for me and today you guys were suggesting why don't I take some of my old characters and apply some new CC to them. Now I did this a little while ago for I think maybe the four kids or like at least James, Jesse and maybe a younger Emily. I did, a younger Emily and Emma. I thought I would take a similar kind of vibe today but instead I thought I would do grown Emma and Emily but also their partners and I was gonna do whole families but honestly by the time we got to Taylor and Emily's kids I'd already started kind of using more advanced CC but at least for this stage of their lives when they were just married and also for these four here they were using some more early CC or basically not really many skin details and so on at all and it's just a real good opportunity to bring April back so I'm excited for this this was a time when I probably had maybe like 10 or 15 CC hairs didn't really do that much in skin details other than just apply a, a main one and I had very limited eyes, I had limited clothes, which is why a lot of my sims ended up wearing the same clothes or pretty basic clothes. I never really got to show my sims personality as much as I wanted to. Whereas now my PC jitters to a halt because of all the garbage I've just shoved in there so I can have as much CC as I possibly can. So I thought today, why don't I just like throw it at these guys, see how they could have looked in a reality where I'd have had a little bit more CC a little bit earlier in the game. Please don't forget to give it a big cheeky thumbs up. Let me know in at the comments below what else you guys want to see and also let me know what you think of our sims with cc before and after i will do some screenshots side by sides at the end because i've got six in here so i can't do the usual flick between just because today i'm feeding y'all i'm giving you all a lot in one video so we're gonna start off with emily the first thing i see is that she has cc eyes that i don't really like the look of anymore because what of you someone in my discord these eyes that i use here you made them default to me and i can't remember who it is but you know who you are thank you so so much so i'm gonna increase that pupil size out a little bit because when you switch between eyes it's kind of a thing you need to do but I would definitely go ahead and give her my new fave eyes she's got some Trez Interesson eyebrows I like a little bit more of a natural look for brows nowadays especially if you're like a, a fair haired sim I feel like a, a lighter brow probably would look better and then also we know that Emily ended up becoming a supermodel so I feel like that should definitely be like reflected in the way that we kind of dress her I've done a little bit of a CC hunt as well before this episode so I'll try and uh, dress her a little bit better. It's hard when it comes to fashion because, you know, oh my gosh, I used to use the heavy bottom lash. I never use a heavy bottom lash anymore because I just think it's a little bit too much. Like, I just don't feel like it looks right, but, uh, wow, I used to. I honestly might go for a more dainty lash altogether. Like, if you look at this one, it's much less harsh, much less black, and kind of suits her fair features a little bit more. But yeah, I, whenever it's like stuff to do with fashion, I'm not very fashionable, so. I mean, I'm literally wearing a pair of dungarees and a stripy top right now, so I do find that hard. I used to use the softness skin on her. Here she is without CC. She actually got a little butt chin, which is kind of cute. I think Ali, if you do that, his chin becomes a butt. But it's not a butt without being forced into being a butt. I think butt chins are quite cute though. I want to give her like skin that gives her, you know, super model vibes is what we're going for. Honestly, the skin I was using before, I've kind of almost started to go a little bit more like max this much with my skin, but alpha with everything else. I just, I do really like like the uh, alpha skin tones like there's just something about them that uh, sorry the maxes match ones i just think they're pretty cool i'm kind of enjoying this one on her though i think that's real nice i'm gonna take a hair off just for now okay well they didn't have freckles or anything but there's other layers that i apply around here now like i feel like she might benefit from a little hairline i never ever used to do like hairlines or anything at all but then i also love adding just a little bit of blush on there again very maxes matchy but like look it just Brings the face to life a little bit, you know? Under eye bags, love a good under eye bag. I'm gonna have to really choose what I want though because they're all on the same layer, which not enjoying. I want everything, I want it all. Nose masks. I don't think I used nose masks at the time of Emma and Emily. In fact, I'm pretty positive that I didn't, so. We can try some of these bad boys on her, make the twins look a little bit different to each other. I think that's really pretty. She's got a nice nose. Mouth corners. I didn't ever use them either, did I? I'm gonna do these ones. Oh my gosh, I wish I had those. I got nothing when I smile. I really want them. Just look at this. Overall, healthy glow. I layer so much more now. Where was this layering before? Okay, let's have a little nosy at her makeup. What makeup was it? I was using the in-game one. 
Oh my gosh, that's so freaking cute. <laughs> I was using actual in-game makeup. Adorable. I think I kind of want to try something different on her though. I say something different. I am kind of boring with my makeup. I always go for the same makeups, really. Emily actually had really pretty lips. My, the big lips kind of came quite quickly for my sims and just kind of stuck around. All my sims have huge lips. I feel like I've put a lot of makeup on her. And I want to try like new hairs on her because I know what Emily hairs I had before. But I feel like everything I put on should be like new like something that i've never put on this specific sim before oh that would have been a cool haircut on you but what's going on with your forehead if you got a really big forehead did you inherit my forehead i kind of feel like you did oh that looks quite good emily hair though this is new this is simpliciati i believe i downloaded it just before i started this video and that kind of feels like emily vibes to me like that's the kind of hair i think i should have gone for and i feel like i can give her some like pretty dignified piercings they're quite pretty i don't want to do anything dangly on her because like I don't really feel like that's her jam. I feel like she's looking good. It's really hard because I don't have the other ones to compare but you guys will so I'll give you that at the end. And then her fashion was always just like very classy, very dignified, very like designer sort of vibes so I want to try and keep that but with my new CC collection. Oh I've just realized as well I feel like if anyone's gonna wear a Chanel beret it's gonna be Emily so I get to finally whip this out which I'm dead excited about. The shoulder pads Oh my gosh. Yes, the shoulder pads. The shoulder pads are definitely very Emily. Honestly, I kind of low-key love the boots that she has on, but I said I was going to change all the CC. I was going to say I don't know if I got anything that kind of was better, but then I remembered my favorite boots. And they're right there, although they're ending at a little bit of a strange place with a coat. I don't know. I might keep her big old iconic Emily boots, to be honest. Okay, guys, this is the final look that I went for for Emily. I know it's kind of wild and mad, but she was meant to be like this fashionable... I'm not fashionable, but she was meant to be like a fashion icon. She was meant to be able to wear daring looks. To me, shoulder pads are the ultimate daring fashion look because when I wear them, I just look like a bloke. So if anyone can pull them off, it's her. I think she looks pretty amazing. Let me know what you guys think as well. I was like, should I go for like really bright pink uh, lipstick on her as well since we're going for this kind of bold look? Oh, you know what? As soon as I put that on, I was like, yes, yes, we should. Let me know what you think of updated Emily. If she'd have had the CC, I'd have had now. I feel like we would at least have had a more fashionable queen. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Let's move on to our husband Taylor who was also he was blue eyed as well wasn't he? He worked in government uh, I think he ended up president of the wholesome world so fair play to the lad. I feel like this boy needs like definite work on his skin details I can tell that already but as much as I'd love to give him big thick juicy eyebrows we're going for this electable face you know. He looks smart but not scary you know that kind of vibe although honestly look at Boris Johnson and Trump basically just draw two eyes and a smile and a potato and that's the person that's gonna rule your country. I'm kind of vibing those brows. I don't know. I like them. I like a chunky brow on a guy, you know? His hair is like literally giving me anxiety. I hate it so much, but we'll get to that. Let's take off his current skin details. Wow, so much change. He has a bit of a strange nose, but I feel like we can work on that. So let's have a look at some skin detail options for you. Ultra real, ultra non-real, bright and beautiful. I don't know, but the world is your oyster since, you know, you are going to be the Prime Minister. President? Prime Minister? I can't remember what it is in The Sims. I always seem to prefer the realistic skins on Ma on Manning's. I just think they look pretty good. That's looking good though, look. That is a nice difference. It's really cleaned up his eye area there. I'm just going to go ahead and whip that hair straight off. I didn't used to put like very many freckles on my Sims in these days, which I think we can all agree is incredibly sad. I just don't think I had any good freckle CC. Whereas now, if I forget to put freckles on a Sim, like you guys know something's wrong. Something's going on in my life outside of the Sims. This boy is begging for a nose overlay. I often use these Obscurus Overlay Nose Mask Set N2. There's quite a few in here and you can kind of change the darkness of them as well once you find one you like. They don't work for all noses, but I seem to have a pretty good success rate with them. So like here, we've gone from that to that. Just, I've gone for a slightly darker version. I just kind of prefer it. Are you just using straight up? Oh my gosh, using vanilla, vanilla beard. Oh, I was so cute and innocent. Although, wow, maybe it's because you have a bit of a weird shaped chin. How did we not notice this before? You look kind of weird with it off. His chin needs to be longer. Like, that would look so much better. I was afraid of chins when I was making Sims, I swear. Although that is quite a big now, but like, he needs a bit of a chin. But then again, politicians. Politicians tend to have sh a shaved face, which I definitely do not agree with. Do not support and do not agree with at all. I don't know if it's just give him a little five o'clock shadow. Like, he shaved his face in the morning and it's come 
them back a touch. I feel like that's what we do. These little cheekbone lines. Never had those before. These guys are new. And we'll give them a little bit of that. Make them look a bit more chiseled. Hair. Hair is what I'm excited about because my male hair was lacking so much those days. I mean, even still now, it doesn't really compare to the amount of female hair I've got. But back then especially, like, I just had nothing. So it's fun to, like, try on hair with my older sims. We need him to stay looking kind of presidential, though. He needs to look electable. Like, he's got to have annoyingly sensible politician's hair. So nothing too fun. That might be too fun. Okay, I feel like this hair isn't even that new, but it just looks like sensible politician's hair to me. And that's what we're going for. Face, hair, done. No piercings on the man. His face looks so much better than I remember it being when I played with him. Uh, now I need sensible clothes. Oh my gosh. Wow, you look so politician right now. Wow. I don't really see how we can beat that. I don't feel like anything else is going to look quite as politician as that last look just looked. Oh, look at you, you little aspiring young Democrat. I love him. I love him. Look, look how brilliant he looks. Ready to lead the world. Ready to get healthcare for all. He's out there to save the sim world and we love him for it. There we go. Taylor Robbins, let me know which version of him you guys prefer. On to Emma. I found Emma so difficult to dress and to do, to have her hair with. Like, I just found her really difficult to make look nice. And I'm kind of realizing now that a lot of it is because her face was quite similar to Sinclair. And I don't know. Wait, you were meant to have lighter eyes. Emily was meant to have darker and you were meant to have lighter. Like this. But yeah, she looked too similar. So, so they're the stuff that I didn't like about her face. It was because it looked too much like my face and I don't know if that's not a reflection of my psyche then I don't know what is. She was definitely ha meant to have like a little bit more of a relaxed aesthetic like in comparison to Emily's like very fashionable one. Emma had a bit more of a tomboy kind of vibe going for her so let's see what we can do. She has got a cute face. I just I don't know you're gonna realize when we get to hair no hairs look right on her. I don't know what it is but hairs just don't look very good on her. I also feel like since she spent so much time playing outside as a kid with Max I don't feel like it's a reach for me to put a few little freckles on because I just feel like it looks right. Oh, she looks so much cuter already. They all have tiny noses because I did my nose way too small when I first like made my sims. So I just passed on genetically tiny noses to everyone. I also think I did my eyes too big as well. So everyone got really big eyes as you can see with uh, James. <laughs> I'm not putting a ton of makeup on her because it's just not really her vibe. And then kind of chapped lips since she don't really care too much about her lips. And I've given her, I don't know if you can see, a little scar around her mouth here just from like playing her as a kid and like get into a few scraps and scrapes. Hair. I always found hair so hard with Emma. Like just nothing seemed to really ever suit her. Although actually she kind of rocks a shaved head. I'm just saying. Although that looks cute. I think if I'd probably have gone. Didn't she have pigtails at some point? I feel like she definitely had pigtails at one point. Or just something kind of fly away like that. Like not really paying too much attention to her hair. Oh it's so fun like trying on all the new hairs I've got now with like my old sims and what suits them and what doesn't because most of them died long before before I ever got to try them, let's face it. Honestly, I'm kind of vibing this like dirty blonde sort of like, just let her hair grow out anyway sort of vibe for her. <gasps> what about a little bandana though? Oh my gosh, that could be so cute. I don't know, I can just see her like just throwing a bandana on her head just to like not have to worry about what she's wearing. Or like worry about doing her hair. And then the classic Emma jeans. I did not have many jeans then. I feel like she'd definitely have a more casual look. I know I've used these jeans quite a lot recently and I apologize for that, but this is just more the relaxed vibes I'd get from her. I I might change her hair. I might change her hair. <laughs> I kept the hair. I changed the top for her. There's meant to be a belt that goes with these trousers. I decided I can't find the belt, but I don't, I don't, I don't know. I just kind of feel this vibe for her. I'm getting eyebrow piercing vibes from Emma. I don't know why, but I definitely like this appearance more. It's kind of still tomboy, but like, it's actually not. To me, it's kind of just like relaxed, sort of like probably hangs around in Camden sort of vibes, which is the future I always wanted for Emma. I think she looks freaking adorable, but I still feel like she feels like Emma to me, which which is the main thing. Like, I feel like she could definitely have dressed like this. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'm gonna let this little pea pod here go for a pee. I mean, look how cute. Look how big she's getting. You're getting so big. You turn into a real doggy, aren't you? Oh, okay. You're still very, still very kissy. 
but turn into a real doggy, yes you are. Okay, so let's move on to Lilith, Lily Bear. I've been actually quite looking forward to this because it's Lilith, she's a freaking icon. However, I'm like, I don't really know how you can improve on this. I don't know if it's even possible. Like, this is Lilith. I just don't know if you can get any better than that, but we'll give it a go, we'll give it a go. Let's take off her skin details. And this is where I'm a bit torn on the eyes because like, her eyes are kind of part of her. They're kind of iconic. I don't know if it's right to change them. Obviously I go for a little bit of a different look look with my eyes now but ah I don't know what to do basically is what I'm getting at if I went for something that's what we did with Raven I really don't know whether to change her eyes or not I've been thinking like about this for the whole of them because I do prefer a more realistic look and that would be the most similar I'll tell you what because those eyes are now my default eyes so because she's got the extra little color on there hasn't she I'll keep the color and then if I just change this to I seriously need to just like clear out my eyes because I have way too many of them like these are the more realistic eyes. I'm just gonna make her pupils a little bit bigger because this this thing kind of varies between the eye tag we've got. And then if I apply that little layer back on, it looks kind of weird mix, but not, not insanely weird because she's meant to have half pink and half like like that Villarreal kind of orangey pink color. She's got like a half and half vibe going on. I don't know, I'll leave her like that for now and we can decide. I don't hate them though. Brows, ugh, this, this is hard because like you can't really improve on Lilith. I feel like I can only possibly go backwards, but see already she's not like, I want her to stay fierce, but I do like a more natural brow. I can't deny it. None of them are quite Lily Bear enough. I don't know. Those ones may be okay. Those ones are kind of fierce as well. I like the fluffiness at the front of them. Those versus... Was it those? I don't know, it's just take it, it takes off a little bit of her edge. This is a difficult one, cause like, once you start messing with the classics, you're only gonna upset people. Like, there's no real way I can win this one. So I'm just gonna have to go with my gut and give it a go. I'm just gonna give it a go, okay? I'm gonna take her makeup off so I can completely reapply it like it's from scratch. And I'm gonna take her hair off as well. She's looking quite different already. <laughs> okay, different skin details. I get, I love this V skin, but I also like the bright blends as well. I know some of you guys don't like the V skin, but I don't know, I like the V skin. I love freckles but I don't know. Lilith doesn't naturally help them, so they don't look right on her. She's got really yellow skin now I look at it as well, like especially if I compare it to other skins. I don't mind her skin tone being more yellowy. That doesn't look bother me. It's like, you see how it's got like a little bit more to it? Like you instantly see like it's given little shines under the eyes and stuff. So I am gonna go ahead and just change her skin tone a little bit. I do just need to accept that no matter what I do, no matter what I do, people ain't gonna like her, okay? Cause I'm messing with an icon, so I'm just gonna kind of roll with her and do whatever I wanna do. This is kind of where I'm at so far. I might want to add more, but kind of happy with what we've got. I don't know why I do makeup before hair. I don't think it's wise, but I'm gonna do it anyway because I've got so much more makeup now compared to when we were first doing Lily Bear's makeup. And she's kind of a fun one to put makeup on because of her interesting eye colors. Also, she's got like nice big eyes that kind of look awesome with all kinds of makeup. Oh my gosh, like she looks so good in anything. Like I can put any of these makeups on her. The stuff that usually looks too heavy and weird on them, and she just rocks them all. Like look, look at her eyes. She's got such awesome eyes. I actually love them. Every hairstyle is just gonna look so good on her. That's the thing, like no matter what I put on her, it's gonna look amazing. So, I don't know. I had a few of these hairstyles like the first time around with Lily Bear as well. Also, she- oh wow. She looks amazing with purple hair. But she always had pink and blonde hair or blonde hair or pink hair. Like, it was always like that kind of vibe. That is literally what my hair looks like right now, by the way. This is what happens when you shave your head and then you grow it out. It all grows at a really weird rate and it looks just like that. Oh my gosh. It's hard not to just go through every hairstyle I've got and like try all of them out on her. Oh my gosh. I've tried on like every style and I do really like this on her. I feel like that's the kind of hairstyle I definitely would have given like a young Lilith as well. She just kind of rocked this vibe, didn't she? So I may just go ahead and... Oh, it's hard because like I love her actual iconic lull of her so much But I said I was gonna give it all new CC so I kind of need to do that to be honest I'm most looking forward to dressing her up. I'm not gonna lie oh, and giving her fun piercings because I don't think I had as many options when we had Lily Bear in game So how was she even rocking like the little maid heart? She's making that work for her. I don't understand I could just dress her up all day in class. I feel like she needs a tiara because she's a freaking princess She's a queen, actually. This is what she needs. <laughs> but honestly, I know it's the first thing I put on her, but I'm kind of vibing this because I, I will lose the cute cat ears, but what I can do is put this like little denim jacket over it. I don't know, she's almost like pastel goth vibes a little bit. She's not quite looking how I want her to look, but like, 
I know I'm needing to use like all new CC. I don't know if this is just a kind of pointless task because you can never replicate Lilith like she was just Lilith. She was there and she was perfect just the way she was. I can definitely still dress her up all day though and like literally not get bored of that in any way, shape or form. I could literally just dress her up all day. I'm gonna have to break off now. Let me know what you think. I think I, I definitely like her face better, but I don't know if you can beat those tartan trousers and the little top. I don't know. I tried it quite a lot of different looks under that. I'm gonna leave her with this one and we're gonna move on to her dad, Max. So Max, I never had the CC with him to do what I actually wanted to do which was kind of like a he was kind of a criminal and I never was able to actually pull that off so I am gonna see if I can do it now properly he does have some strange like his face is a little bit weird I'm not gonna lie I'll take off his skin details he did well to like birth such beautiful children I'll just put it that way because he's not the best looking sim I wouldn't say so I feel like we're gonna need to do a little bit of work with him he's he's not gonna be an easy cookie he looks very real <laughs> but I've popped a few skin details on I want to find the one that's like the scratches and stuff on his face because I feel like he should have that as well there we go so he looks looks a little bit like a little bit of a wrong un. I wanted him to look a little bit of a wrong un. But honestly if I was going back now I'd want to make his nose like look actually like he looks so much better like that my sims have tiny noses like that's a really small nose like especially for a guy like trying to breathe out of that it's not going to be very easy at all okay so we got that oh we need to change his brows something a little bit more a bit more scruffy a little bit scruffier looking that kind of works because it's got the cut through the brow which i like as well i think he's definitely looking a little bit more like he actually matches his criminal career now and i had such limited hair when i was with max that i'm kind of excited to try a load of hairs on him top not max you never thought you see it like something like that looks better because it's kind of balancing out his strange head shape a little bit i think that one because you can still see like the cut on his brow that's good that's a good look i like that give him some cheekbones but oh my gosh why has max ended up looking so real it's kind of weirded me out he looks so different i kind of feel like he's my favorite so far though because of that okay so we got his look his, ha his top look he's meant to look a little bit like he's a bit of a thug so let's try let's try and get that across as well but still must look like somewhat nice because like Emma liked him so we need a little bit of that too what do you reckon do you reckon he looks kind of thuggy maybe a little bit I, don't, I kind of feel like he does I, I, I sort of feel like he does I'm not good at making thugs because like how often are my sims actually thugs never <laughs> if I had his arms out I would have given him tattoos but I feel like the big huge thing here it just suits him like it looks to me more like how Max in my head looked from the back and now I see him from the front I feel like this is the Max that I always felt like he was meant to be but I just never had the CC for. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, but this is how I imagined him. This is so cool because that's so much more how he was meant to look. Sorry if that breaks any visions of how you guys imagined him, but I like this version more. Him the most out of everyone so far. Also Taylor and Emma and Emily. Everyone apart from Lilith, but I don't think you can beat Lilith. However, guys, it's, it's my favorite one at all. This is actually teen able, so I'm just going to age him up so that we're all on the same page and I look less weird. With him, I'm going to again do what I did with Lilith and just give him a custom skin tone just to get like a little bit more like depth of color for him and again we're gonna change his eyes probably to like these ones here and i'm kind of making the pupils all look very small to me like if i look at my own eyes my pupils like they at least reach the bottom of their eye so i'm gonna do that as well let's go ahead and take off all of his skin details wait i'll take off this but i kind of has he got bags under his eyes is he is that all he had on my sims were so freaking naked they had nothing on them but this is fun i can go through and like add whatever i want on him but look how freaking cute he looks like that oh my gosh all of these like adorable little skins that i could never put on him before because i never had them and they all look so <sighs> Little baby, you look so cute. Oh my gosh, he literally looks almost too pretty with some of these. Like, it's too much. My face is just gonna be like this the whole time I'm doing this. Like, I literally can't handle, I can't handle. I'm gonna add his nose and then like come back to the skin details. <laughs> oh my gosh, I could stay here all day. I have to change his brows though, cause like, I like more fluffy brows now. Oh my gosh, the first ones I press and look how pretty he looks. Look at those soft boy eyebrows. I can't wait to give you all the piercings and tattoos that you deserve that I just didn't have. He liked gold jewelry, so I gave him some gold jewelry. I'm glad he died young. That sounds awful, but I'm glad I never had to see him become an old man, okay? <laughs> wait, facial hair. I always liked Jamal with facial hair. People didn't, but I did. We had no hairs back when you were little brethren on my uh on my channel so i need to give you some nice hairs it looks nice with no hair we got all kinds of hairs now abel try them all on babes let me know which one you like best you look great
creating every single, not that one, but every single other one. I actually feel so lucky that we got as good a Sims as we did. Cause like, I never made Sims. We just like added Sims based on who we found out in the wild. So the fact that we ended up with as many good looking Sims as we did is kind of nothing short of a miracle. I love Sammy B and I love uh, Seth. However, honestly, I feel like I'm just trying to recreate an icon and they just don't quite measure up, I'm afraid. I'm now torn between these two. It's tough cause like, Ali is in there and my mum waiting for me to finish watching Dark. And all I want to do is put a thousand haircuts on Abel. I feel like Abel would have nice healthy lips because I would keep reminding him to put lip balm on. And the clothes, like... The clothes of Abel was always like, I could never really dress him the way I wanted to. I just didn't have good CC then. I want him to be soft boy. I feel like he would definitely have been soft boy. He just looks great in a pink coat. It looks right on him. Oh, there he is, guys. The Abel. The Abel that I dreamed of. Soft, sweet, little innocent Abel. Little, little heart. <sighs> so cute. It's so cute! How? Oh, I'm like, have I put every layer on? Can I stretch this out for longer? Is there a reason for me to, please? Look at him, guys. Look how freaking cute he is. How did this cute, sweet, little angel, little, beautiful angel, come from this absolutely... <laughs> Max looks awesome. I'm sorry, but Max looks freaking awesome. This absolute thug, it was because of this beautiful girl here, Emma. Because look at her. Her boho, fun, hippie kind of vibes would definitely have rubbed off on little Abel. And of course, awesome uh, big sister, Lulav, as well, with her cat ears and her beautiful face and her amazing eyes. And then, of course, you've got that aunt, Emily, who is... She's the first one I did. Emily has a hard face to dress, but I still think she looks pretty iconic. Let me know what you guys think. Her eyes look a little bit weird, but we're just gonna move past it and then politician taylor who actually looks so much like a politician he really does okay i kind of low-key love them all let me know what you guys think of them as well in the comments below if you want me to pop them on the gallery let me know in the comments below as well i really really like them i'm gonna have the comparisons on the screen as i'm chit-chatting with you guys now if you want me to do another of these videos honestly most of the other characters that i've done i put the cc on fairly recently so it might not work quite as well but we'll try it if you guys want to see it let me know in the comments below and thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you in another one. Bye!